The coronavirus can be intense, especially for patients having trouble breathing. Researchers at Mass General and several other hospitals are looking into how nitric oxide could improve recovery and keep patients out of the intensive care. Dr. Malika Marshall shows us. It turned me around. There's no ways about it. Tim Emeritus is talking about a turnaround from a bout with coronavirus. He says the symptoms hit hardest on Easter Sunday. I was coughing quite a bit. I got very winded, short of breath, and my temperature also spiked over 102. At the hospital, Emeritus says the coughing continued for hours. My lungs were starting to uh, shut down, so I had to go on oxygen. Unfortunately, I stabilized because my oxygen levels were dropping. The next stop would have been intensive care. Instead, Emeritus participated in a clinical trial at Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center using inhaled nitric oxide. Nitric oxide, once it's inhaled, seems to help the body actually fight the virus. It has antiviral properties. Ohio State cardiologist Cedar Rama Shamani is investigating giving the treatments in a new way instead of through a face mask. We hope to see their breathing patterns improve, their need for extra oxygen decrease, obviously then avoiding the need to go to the ICU. There's a similar study underway at Mass General. The year-long study hopes to include 260 patients who come to the emergency department with symptoms likely caused by COVID-19. And those symptoms must have started less than 12 days before going to the ER. Researchers are hopeful, saying nitric oxide has been used to help treat other coronavirus strains. I was still on oxygen when I went into the, you know, into the treatment. So they had a nasal tube that piped in oxygen and the nitric oxide. And, uh, and then the following day, they took me off of oxygen because I didn't need it. Dr. Malika Marshall, CBSN, Boston. Well, story